Hey guys, it's Kim with 5 Minute Cloth, and today we're on day three of the Flats and Hand Washing Challenge. Uh, link below my day one and day two videos. I have a playlist for that, so if you want to follow along with that, make sure you check those videos out. But today's prompt is my favorite fold. So I did this not too long ago, but I will show you again for the sake of this challenge. And still, my favorite fold has been the kite fold. And then I'll also show you what the fold we're using for nighttime that is called the Pikmin fold. So for the kite fold, you want to fold it in like that, fold down the top, and then this is going to be the back side of your diaper. You can fold it over again if you want it to make like a little bit of a pocket shield for explosions if you have that situation going on. And then you fold the tip here and then fold it up for however long you want your rise. So if you have a small baby, you'll pull it up higher for a shorter rise. I have a toddler, so that is about the rise that I like to do. And I think this is considered the modified kite fold because you could, you know, roll it and put it on like this, but I like to make it more into a pre-fold shape and fold it in like that. And then this goes up. You pull the wings out and over. And there you go, and then you have a diaper. And like I said, you can modify this to make it smaller for a younger child. So next, I will show you the Pikmin fold. For the Pikmin fold, we use for bedtime. So we take one corner and fold it up not quite all the way to the edge, um, a couple inches from the corner. And then you fold it back. And then this is gonna be the width between the legs. So if you like it nice and narrow between the legs, you will pull it far farther. And if you like it wider between the legs, you will not pull it as far. So then that folds over and it meets this fold here. And then you pull it back so that this edge meets this line. And then you fold in the edges here and then fold it in half. So this is definitely a more complicated fold in my opinion. But it works really well. You can see it almost looks like a pad folded flat with thin wings on the side. So I like this because it gives me all the absorbency right in the center section without losing absorbency on the wings. And then it's nice and easy to throw in a booster for nighttime right in between those layers there. So if you needed a longer rise, um, you would just fold these down, you know, not as much. Or if you needed a shorter rise for a smaller baby, you can adjust it like that. So I like how this one has really long wings. I prefer a fold with long wings. So that is what the Pikmin fold looks like. So those are my two favorite folds. Other than that, I do use the pad fold, but um, I don't really have a specific video. I guess if you want to see, you just fold it in half, fold it in half again, and then sometimes when flats are not exactly square, you might want to see which way is going to work best for you for the lengthwise for the pad fold. So if I did it this way, to me, this is too long to fit in my child's cover. But if I do it this way, it is a little more bulky, but it is the perfect length to fit in her cover on the middle rise. So you can definitely play around. Um, if you have a smaller flat or a larger flat, you can kind of play around with where you fold it um, so that it might be like thicker in the front and a little bit longer. So like this, of course, would be too long, but that's just an example of if you had a smaller flat, um, how you would fold it so that to give it more length. So I do really enjoy the pad fold. It is probably the one I use the most because it's just throw it in and easy. So just for the sake of the video, I wanted to show you some actual folds, um, like the kite fold and the Pikmin fold. So I hope this is helpful. And if any of you are doing the challenge, I hope you guys are enjoying it. And I can't wait to see what your favorite folds are. See you tomorrow, guys.